Good afternoon, Pokey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 14 video. Bring you a Gudra team. Now, Gudra is a Pokemon that will be allowed in Scarlet and Violet, has been confirmed to us, and also will probably have its Asuian form in Scarlet and Violet in some capacity, whether it's before home, after home, I don't know. I haven't played the game at the time that I'm recording this, so I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that Gudra is a very good Pokemon, has very good uh, special defense, and very high physical attack and special attack and high HP. So it doesn't make a lot of sense why it's not that played. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing it and trying to make sense of why it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to run a Gujar team with Assault Vest. I'm also running a Comfy here with the Giga Drain. So I get priority boosted Giga Drains. I could Dynamax the Gudra, give myself Sap Sipper, use my incredible move pool of Power Whip, Super Power, Breaking Sweat, and Stomping Tantrum to Dynamax and get a lot of things done here today. So against heavy special attacking teams, Gujar is going to be an absolute monster. An absolute monster. So if I do see a lot of special attackers, or especially... Oh yeah, if I see a lot of special attackers, I'm bringing Gudra 9 out of 10 times. The, the rest of the team's kind of self-explanatory. I do also have uh, Comfy, Rotom, and Arcanine, which are going to be also allowed in Scarlet and Violet. They are confirmed for the game. And I'm running the Zacian and the Calyrex here simply because I want two restricted Pokemon that I don't really need to Dynamax too much. So, that's kind of my thought process there. We'll see if I get punished for it or not. I mean... Who knows? I could lose all three battles. It hasn't happened in a long time, but it has happened before. Anyway, if you guys are excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you're excited to see Guja today in today's episode, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Poke Sports if you haven't done so already for more Scarlet and Violet action in the future and so for some more competitive content because we still got a couple videos left uh, before the game comes out. But boy, I can't wait. Anyway, let's get on to today's video. Zamazenta Dawn with a little bit of Ursh mixed in there. Okay. Not too mad about this. A lot of their team is physical. Which is nice and not nice. Because it means that's probably going to be a... A Dynamax Thunder is there. So I got to be a little bit careful about my Arcanine. Rotom isn't bad either. It deals with their Groudon relatively well. Because of Levitate. But at the same time, I don't... I I don't want to rely on using a water move in the sun in order to deal with a Groudon. I think I'd much rather just have Zacian and use Zacian to do that. I mean, up against them right away, I'm thinking Gudra Comfy. That is kind of the theme that I'm trying to showcase in this video anyway. So let's just go Gudra Comfy, bring our double restricteds in the back, and then see if we're punished for it. Now, the Calyrex isn't like a great bring for us because this could be a Dark Urshifu. It could even be like a just like a regular Urshifu with like water Urshifu just to break a weakness policy on a Groudon. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. What I do know is that this team is terrifying. A lot more terrifying than my team. <laughs> this team looks like they spent a lot of time on it. And uh, that those Pokemon are going to take a lot of time to KO. But we'll see. Hanzo, at the very least, my opponent spent a lot more time on their team and not too much time on their trainer card. That much I can gather on my own. Or their outfit. Thunder is almost is going to be their lead of choice, okay? That is... Alright? I'm not content with the fact that uh, they're going to be getting a defense boost here. Also not content with the fact that they're going to outspeed me next turn. But I do think I can Dynamax and I do think I can Knuckle and I can raise my own attack this turn and then I could just set Trick Room. They would have to double into my Comfy in order to make this a bad turn for me. And then that means they doubled into a comf Comfy, right? I have max HP, max defense, bold. They might think they can knock me out with one um, Behemoth Bash, but... They won't be able to because of the Babiri Berry. So they're going to have to bring in the help of the Thunderous if they want to take care of my Comfy. Alright, Thunderous Dynamaxing. It's definitely going to be the Defiant kind. As we could tell from their team preview, that's probably going to be the Defiant kind. But it's okay. Because we got a big Gudra. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the team, my gooey friend. See how this plays out. 
Snarls? Nah, not me. Okay, so they're not knocking out Comfy this turn is what that means. Not that I can tell, at least. Max Airstream? Yep, eat that up, baby. Eat that up. So, I think I come out of this turn on top. Because they just rose their speed. I'm sitting Trick Room now. We learn that they're Life Orb, and I get a free plus one here. That can turn into a plus two next turn. Could even be plus three if I really wanted to go even further beyond. The problem is I can't go for my stab move onto Thunderous. Because if I do, Thunderous gets defined. Could go for Knuckle, could go for Quake onto Zamazenta. I think I'm going for... I think I'm going for more. I think I'm going for Greed. I think I'm going for another Knuckle. Do they have any ghosts? No ghosts. Yeah, I have no reason not to knuckle. Could even ally switch if I want to be irritating. Keep the comfy on the field for an extra turn. Could also just Giga Drain, just do more damage. But what does that really accomplish? It might be an ally switch turn here. No, nah, that'd be a waste because they're going to split their moves up anyway. So I should just go for Giga Drain. They're going to split up their moves. Doesn't actually matter who goes... For what? Groudon. Hey, I'll knuckle a Groudon. I don't mind. What is unfortunate is that Groudon might be outspeeding me in Trick Room. I don't know. I don't have a lot of investment. I have 12. Not too much, but also not nothing. All right. Second knuckle. I'm now plus two. This will make me plus three. Listen, that's damage. I'm not here to one shot. I'm here to sustain and to live forever. And if I can do that much damage while doing that, then I'm cool. All right, Comfy will die. So I could have ally switched there is what that means. But the fact that I didn't doesn't really matter. Um, the next turn kind of scares me a little bit. Because their Thunderous does have plus one speed. I think I have to bait the Groudon into not protecting this turn, so I'm going to go Zacian. I don't know, man. I'm going to go Calyrex, because I have Sash, and I'll live this anyway. The Thunderous should outspeed my Calyrex here, right? Because it does have one Airstream boost still attached to it. So, theoretically speaking... I should be able to finish off the Groudon. With just like a regular Overgrow. And then just smack the Thunderous with an Astral. I mean, I do have a Sash anyway. I'm pretty sure I, I outspeed this Groudon in Trick Room, right? I'm adamant and only 12 base speed. If the Groudon has any speed investment at all, it'll outspeed me. It'll underspeed me in Trick Room. Fine. That's actually perfect. Of course, Grout. Oh, they double protect. Oh, I get free damage. I don't, I guess I don't mind. Does that actually change anything? That doesn't change anything. In fact, that just made my next turn easier. They don't even learn turn order. Oh, they will. I'm going to learn turn orders because the grassy terrain. Hold on. Do they get grassy terrain first or do I? That is how we learn the turn order. I'm faster. <laughs> nice. We know for a fact I'm faster now. We know for a fact I'm faster. And it's really good. Because what that means now is I can go for some damage moves. And I plan to go for a lot of damage. All I gotta do is Breaking Swipe. And then I'll outspeed the Thunderous with the Astral. And then get the plus two with the Astral. Or plus one, rather. So just a Breaking Swipe, Astral Barrage, turn. Make use of this final turn of Trick Room. I do believe it's the last turn of Trick Room here. And Guja's putting in work, apparently. <laughs> Guja's staying here. It's living. 
it's being annoying. It's chipping their health bars. And, it, and you know, the Calyrex just has to come in for the cleanup. Okay, so they learned about turn order too. That's the unfortunate thing. They're going to bring me down to negative... Not negative. I'll, I'll still be plus two. So this should still do a lot of damage. It's breaking swipe. Thank you. Good damage. And now we Astro Barrage because we should be faster than Thundee. Remember the Thundee got that plus one. Yep. Nice. Good. Really good for us. Bye bye. All right. So we got the plus one from the Thundee. The Trick Room ends. So now our Calyrex is in snowballing territory, folks. We're in snowballing territory. I don't know if we're going to knock out the Ensign, though. That Ensign's kind of still high health. But at the very least, okay. We're not in snowballing territory anymore because of Wide Guard. I could still make plays here, though. I think the goal here has to be to knock out the Ensign as much as fast as I can. The Ensign's... I'm, I'm just going to go for the superpower on Ensign and protect. Because they're going to try to get a cheap shot on my Calyrex by going Wide Guard and Darkest Lariat. I wasn't born yesterday, though. So let's just protect that real quick. Avoid that from ever happening. Oh, they're just faking out. That's such a waste of turn. Fake out and wide guard? What does that accomplish? That accomplishes nothing! <laughs> okay. Whatever. I did nothing. Um, I, I guess I, I it stalled the turn of Trick Room for what it's worth. I don't know, man. They, uh, we know that they have wide guard now, so we have to go for the superpower on the ensign just to knock out the ensign. We have to go for the hard swap out, go into Zacian to take the incoming dark move. Zacian should eat, eat, eat a dark move for breakfast. I should not have to worry about the damage that an ensign does to a Zacian with a dark move. A flare blitz, on the other hand, that I have to worry about, right? Now, unless this ensign doesn't have a dark move, which some don't. You know, it's not like it's a mandatory thing to have a Dark Move on Ensign. Some can carry Taunt, some can carry Protect. Harding Shot. But we'll see. Alright, Incization we go. Dog v Dog. Cat v... Dragon. Loose Dragon. Oh, they went for the B-Bash there. Interesting. Were they expecting the switch, maybe? Or is this a shot into Gudra? Yeah, it's a shot into Gudra. We thankfully take it, though. I should outspeed the instant, hopefully. I do. Superpower, bada bing. Damage. Interesting. It's... Oh, I'll take that crit. I was plus two, though. So, eh, it doesn't matter. Eh, who knows? Issue, though, is I still have to deal with the Zamazenta. And I don't know how Imprison works. Does Imprison imprison the Iron Head or the Behemoth Blade? I think it imprisons the Behemoth Blade. Because if it imprisoned the Iron Head, then I could click Imprison here. And then the, the Zenta would be in some grave trouble. Interesting swap there. Ooh, interesting berry there. That pretty much confirms one thing to me, and it confirms that the Groudon is going to attack and the Zamazenta is going to protect, or the Groudon is going to protect and the Zamazenta is going to attack. I could protect the protect or I can make a play. I don't even know what, the, what play to make, though. I'm going to power up on the Groudon. And I'm going to Behemoth. I'm going to double the Groudon here. That might be a mistake. It is a mistake. Dang it! <sighs> See, they had a lot of plays to make there. I, I, they're just going to knock on my Gudra here, which I guess could be a lot worse. We're still fine. Yeah, we're still fine. As long as we can still knock out the Groudon next turn, we're fine. I would have loved to knock out Groudon with Gudra there. I would have loved to got a lot to get free damage off on the Zamazenta there. But sometimes you just can't get it. And that's okay. 
The thing is, now the Groudon can't protect next turn. And that's the point I'm trying to make. And I could also waste their time with the Wide Guard, too. I still have a whole Sash intact on my Calyrex. And I actually have Psy Shock, so I'm not going to get Wide Guard locked by this, uh, by this Zamazenta anytime soon. Now, should I double the Groudon? I guess. Yeah. Listen, they didn't protect last turn. That's their problem. Yeah, double the Groudon. We'll let them wide guard if they want. Yeah, that's fine. They don't have a damage turn here. I do. They have to wide guard. They're forced to wide guard. We have Psy Shock. Yeah, I still think we take this one. Great damage. Because now we can go for Astral. Here's the thing. They can't win unless they do damage. And if we just stop them from doing damage by going for the move they don't want us to go for, we win. I'm actually very surprised we won this game because this was not an easy team to break through. This was a very meaty team. Uh, but hey, you win some, you lose some, right? We just have to go for our Sacred Sword. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Game's over. Eventually, I would just out damage them enough to where they wouldn't be able to protect themselves against it. GG's. Darmanitan. Why is it the one time I want to use Gudra on this channel, I have to face a Darmanitan? Also, what the heck is happening with that team, Hasuka? I don't even know where to begin. Um, I was going to say it's a Gen 7 only team, but then you added Darmanitan there, so I don't even know what to think anymore. It was almost a Gen 7 only team. I... I I... I'm not sure what to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Gudra. I'm going to go Comfy. Maybe not. I'm going Gudra. I'm going Arcanine. I'm bringing Zacian Kali in the back. I feel like I got to bring some serious juice to this battle. I can't afford to have a Comfy on my team. Because how is a Comfy going to help me deal with all of this? You know? Th thankfully, there are a lot of special attackers here, you know? The Ganadel, Lunala are the two biggest ones. I don't really think Golisopod does a lot of damage. In fact, I'm not really sure what Golisopod does at all. They're definitely not going to bring Golisopod to this battle, I don't think. Like, it, the only thing it would do is nothing. I mean, I guess it deals with grass types, but I have no grass types for them to deal with. So it would just kind of seem like a waste of their time. But I mean, we'll see what happens. I. I the battle hasn't even started yet, and I'm tilted. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Hesuka. Fashion sports, 10 out of 10 outfit. Like the pink, like the black, like the plaid. They brought Glycopod. Why? You know what? I'm not questioning it. I'm just going to accept it. I'm just going to accept it. I get the Intimidate off on the Glycopod. I'll take that. I'm not concerned about Golisopod, though. I don't even think I should have Gudra out right now, personally. But it doesn't hurt having it out. I think what I'm going to do is just try to buff my attack while I'm here. By doing that, I'm just going to... Eh, I don't even want to max Knuckle. I guess if I have the opportunity to knock out the Golisopod, I'm going to take it. And then if I have the opportunity to burn the Solgaleo, I'm also going to take it. I'll take both these opportunities here. Looks like they're going to be Dynamaxing the Solgaleo. Makes sense. It's a pretty good Dynamax bond. But hopefully by burning it, it won't be too much of a threat to me. Because here's the thing. I don't have to KO the Solgaleo now. I just have to live long enough to bring my Calyrex in and one shot it when the Dynamax is over. That's the only time that I really need to worry about the Solgaleo. All right, my turn to Dynamax. Now with this Dynamax, I think that I, I can't really accomplish too much, but I can try to accomplish something. Something for what it's worth. We'll see. Mindstorm, okay. Into Arcanine. Yeah, Arcanine's a tank, dude. 
Arcanite's built like an absolute truck. It did still hurt, don't get me wrong. Not gonna be enough though. Eat a willow. Thank you. And you burnt. Now, free Wormwind now on to this Goliath Spot. Goliath Spot should just emergency exit. Oh no, that's tanky. That is tankier than I gave it credit for. That or Guja sucks, I can't tell. I'm almost max attack on this Guja though. They are negative one, now negative two. They are still gonna knock out my Arcanine though. Not too happy about that, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real, not too, not too content about that. I just Calyrex though, right? Is this just a Calyrex turn? They can't wide guard me anymore. Yeah, this is just a Calyrex turn. Okay. Okay. Um, listen, I'm going to give it weakness policy anyway. Might as well raise my special defense while doing it. So let's just quake on the Solgaleo. Actually, will I even knock out the Solgaleo? Or should I just worm wind? Oh no, because I'm going to eject. He's going to emergency exit out after the Astral, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's just go for the Astral, go for the Max Quake. Try to do maximum damage output here. Yeah, you gave yourself tight Psychic Terrain, Tom. You literally did that to yourself. <laughs> but thank you. Appreciate it. There's going to be the weakness policy. All righty. Weakness policy is now activated. The burn kind of mitigates that a lot. And my Sash is still intact, which is always nice. They're going to go for the Steel Spike, raising their own defenses here. Which is good for them, because it means that my Quake isn't going to do that much. Bad for me, because it means my Quake isn't going to do that much. But hopefully it could still do something. I'm, I'm hoping for something. Chip is chip, man. And that might be chipped enough to where I can finish it off, right? That might be just enough. This battle is, is a strange one, that's for sure. I still have a full health Gudra. Gudra has taken no damage this game, and I have a whole dog in the back, too. What is a Flamp Vivian? Oh my goodness, not this thing. I'm just gonna have to Wormwind it in Astral and hope it doesn't have Scarf. Actually, it doesn't go for Gudra, does it? It always goes for Calyrex here, right? If it has Scarf, it always goes for Calyrex. Oh, my opponent's not. My opponent's Sucker Punch and Psychic Terrain. Maybe I shouldn't make predictions like this. They do just go for Calyrex. Dang it! It's this close to making a good play. This close. Let's see what they U-turn out into. Please don't be a fairy type. They don't have any fairy types. Please be in a Ganadel. That'd be funny. I'll take a Lunala. I will take a Lunala. Here's the thing. I still think I might be okay. They're definitely Scarf, though. That's a fact. And they crit me. That's the last thing I needed right now. Was a crit through their burn. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see how much the Wormwind can at least do to Lunala. Should break a Shadow Shield. Yeah. Alright, Gudra. Not gonna lie. Ha haven't been doing too much. <laughs> haven't been doing much yet. But I know that now. Now is definitely the time you're about to shine. That was definitely the time. This is the time that you're going to impress me and that we're going to title the video after you. Let's see. All right. No Dynamax left of this game. I lost to Calyrex when I didn't need to. Um, they have three Pokemon left. If I can get double KOs here, I might have a chance. I just don't think I'm going to get a double KO here. I'm going to try. Superpower. Followed by Behemoth Blade onto Lunala. I want to try to knock out Lunala if I can. Alright, Behemoth Blade. I already broke the Shadow Shield. That's a tanky Nala. Jeez. 
Followed by the Moon Geist Beam. Who's that on? Zation. Okay. You have Flare Blitz! Bruh. Bruh, come on. What is this game? I'm losing to the weirdest teams. Okay. Oh, poor Gudra did not get a chance. I literally had the trigger and I, I had the bullet in the gun. I couldn't pull the trigger. It, it, it's so unfortunate when it comes to to plays like that where I'm like, I have a feeling that they're going to be or that they're going to go for certain plays, but, you know, they end up going for other plays. My only hope now is just hoping that for some reason they decide to go for Icicle Crash and they miss. And then I can get like a crit superpower. I don't know. Oh, they have Ice Punch. They, don't, they won't miss that. GG's to my opponent. They played well. And of course, we're going against the one Pokemon <laughs> that really screws up Gudra. A physical Ice type. That gets two choice bands if it wants. GG's. Dragapult Colossal. You hate to see it, folks. But here it is, nevertheless. How do we deal with it, though? Rotom, baby? This might be the Rotom day. Like, hey, you want to go water, f water friend? We can go water friend. Maybe like a Rotom comfy lead? I don't know. Get a little creative here. Setting up Trick Room would screw them up a little bit. Honestly, Rotom plus Gudra isn't awful either. And I kind of want to, I kind of don't want to play in Trick Room. I want to play in their space. I, I, I was surprised that I'm finding a reason to bring Rotom because Rotom was kind of the map pick when I made this team. It was like, I need a Pokemon, but all the good Pokemon are in Sword and Shield and not Scarlet Violet. So I got to choose Rotom because that's the best water type that I can choose at the moment. And I didn't really want a Gastrodon on this team just because we played Gastrodon so much on the channel already. Got to diversify, you know? But if they go Colossal... And Dragapult, I'm not going to pretend like I'm worried. Okay, I can't lose to this guy. He still has a Crown Tundra uniform. All right, Zacian and Whimsy. Well, that's not Colossal, isn't it? I, that's not what I thought was going to happen. I'm a little bit sad about that. Um, I'm a lot a bit sad about that. What do I do? I might not be able to Dynamax Gudra here. Which sucks, because I really wanted to. But, like, if I Dynamax Gudra, I'm just throwing to Zacian. Oh, this is not the lead that I anticipated. Wish me luck. I don't think I live one, but I will try to live one. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going for the Gudra hit here, which is why I'm Dynamaxing the, the Rotom. Because at the very least, I'll be able to hit the Zacian next turn. With the Rotom. I also kind of want to imprison that Zacian if I get the opportunity to. I guess we'll see if I get that opportunity or not. We also have to see who they're attacking. Helping hand. Bruh. Okay. They're not trick rooming or uh, tailwinding. They went for the Rotom? They fear the Tom? Why? I mean, I don't mind. I think I'd take the Zacian for that. Right? Do I trade Zacian for that? That's damage. And Stomping Tantrum will also be damage. Come on, give me that Zacian. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, that's tilting. Do I do anything different though? Maybe Protect Rotom? No, nah, I'm double attacking no matter what I'm doing here. The only play is to double attack always. Because even if they protect, I knock them out. All right, there's a Tailwind. They're going to take a shot probably into Gudra now. But as long as I take out a Zacian, I think I'm okay with that. Yo, and they're going for some risky plays. They could have missed that. I would have just gone for the Behemoth Blade, my guy. But fine, you did it. You knocked out Gudra. I traded my Dynamax... 
and my Gujraforization, which some people might say isn't good. But I might say, you're right, not good. But it's, it's all right. We'll, we'll hang in there. We have our own Zation now. I don't actually remember what their team was. I guess Calyrex is my best play. Calyrex forces them to at least have to double into me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, they're forced to double into me now. Don't quite know what to do, though. I think... I think Geyser in the rain. Onto the Pult. Followed by... A Barrage... Is what I can do. No, because they might Phantom Force. Or they might Dynamax. I don't quite know what they're going to do. But I could actually take the opportunity to knock out the Rotom here. I mean, the, the Whimsicott here. If they do go for Phantom Force. And I can make some swaps there as well. Try to ease the bleeding a little bit. Because, like, they got options. They're helping handing. So that means I will live this Astral. Surf. Bro, you're throwing, Tom! You're giving this to me! Tomothy, what are you doing? Unless you had no other moves there, my guy. Unless you had nothing else there. I, I'll take that. I, I can never complain about that. That That is just the best. Oh, fine. <laughs> Listen, this is their Dynamax, though, so I should be a little bit cautious. And they're definitely going to be going for the Rotom spot. I'm definitely still just going to Hydro Pump it. And I'm also definitely still just going to single targeted plus two Astro Barrage it. Battle was canceled. What a game. <laughs> that was that was definitely what a game. Now, you could tell that they were scared to bring their Colossal in the lead. That doesn't mean like, you know, surf me instead of attack me with a ghost move, though. GG's. I mean, hey, I'll take that. Gucci was not an easy Pokemon to play today. And if I can get two wins in one video, I'll take that. And here you have the Renzo code for the Gucci team in Series 14. If you want to go ahead and give this team a shot as the days wind down to Scarlet and Violet. Um, this team's a lot of fun. It's not the best team that I played. In fact, I would argue that the Tyranitar team, the Salamence team, probably every team that I've played before this Gucci team is probably a little bit more competitive. But I think Gujra is a fun Pokemon to play. I do think there are niches that it does fit. Maybe in a restricted meta, it's a little bit hard because you just don't keep up with the damage that's being dealt. Um, and you have to try to compensate that with things like Comfy and things like Max Knuckle. But overall, the team was a lot of fun. Didn't manage to get two wins in today's video. So like I said, can't complain about that. Um, the opponents that we're finding on the ladder are a little bit... I don't want to say worse because it's not that they're worse. It's that they're different. They're using teams that aren't common. Uh, I feel like a lot more of the hyper competitive players have already just like grabbed their hacked switch and we're just like, hey, I got Scarlet and Violet on it. Now let's play it just to see what these stats are. But, you know, overall, we had a fun time today in today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're excited for some Scarlet and Violet action. Anyway, I'm Poke Sports. I'm, Ke I'm Poke Sports. This is Kevin. I'm Kevin. This is Poke Sports. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye bye.